Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is just around the corner and with it comes a brand new set of hardware requirements. The question on everyone's mind is, can your PC run MSFS 2024? Whether you're upgrading from MSFS 2020 or diving into the sim world for the first time, today we'll compare the old 2020 specs to the new 2024 specs, give you advice on whether you should upgrade now or wait, and discuss what VR users can expect from this stunning new sim. Plus, we'll dive into how peripherals, external software, and add-ons impact your performance. Let's start with a comparison between MSFS 2020 and 2024 specs. If you're running MSFS 2020, you probably noticed the game was pretty demanding. For the minimum specs in 2020, you needed something like an Intel i5 4460 or an AMD Ryzen 3 1200 and pair that with the NVIDIA GTX 770 or a Radeon RX 570 and, in addition, 8GB of RAM. While those specs allowed you to run the game on lower settings, it wasn't a buttery smooth experience. But for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, the bar has been raised. The minimum specs now require an Intel i7-6800K or an AMD Ryzen 5 2600X and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Plus you'll need a, a GTX 970 or a Radeon RX 5700 with four gigabytes of VRAM. What does this mean? If you are barely getting by with the minimum specs in MSFS 2020, you're probably gonna need an upgrade to experience 2024 smoothly, even at lower settings. Now it's important to remember, the specs Microsoft provides focus on just running the simulator itself. They don't factor in the extra power needed to run peripherals like your yoke, rudder pedals, or uh, throttle quadrants. They also don't account for the extra resources needed for external apps like Navigraph Charts, SayIntentions.ai, or any ATC or weather tool you may be running in the background. And if you're using multiple monitors, your PC will need even more resources compared to a single screen setup. Higher resolutions like 1440p or 4K and higher refresh rates, 60 Hertz or above, will also require a beefier GPU and more system power. If you want to run multiple monitors to maximize your field of view or add external displays for your instruments, that's going to push your system beyond what the basic specs recommend. So if you're someone who enjoys an immersive multi-screen setup, you'll need a more powerful CPU and GPU to handle that load smoothly. And let's not forget, if you're adding third-party content like planes, scenery, or airports purchased from developers outside of the instant marketplace, that's going to add even more strain to your PC. While MSFS 2024 will feature cloud-based streaming for many default assets, Third-party add-ons like airports or aircraft you've purchased from MSFS 2020 that aren't streamed will still rely on local storage and your PC's power to run smoothly. Now, just a quick break here. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more MSFS tips, hardware guides, and everything you need to know about the upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Now, let's get back to it. So the big question here, should you upgrade your PC for MSFS 2024 now or wait? Well, one thing's for sure, the specs for 2024 are final, so no need to wait for any more updates on that front. If your current PC barely met the recommended specs for 2020, you'll probably need an upgrade to enjoy smooth performance in 2024. With the recommended specs for 2024 now sitting at an Intel i7 10700K, or a Ryzen 7 2700X, along with a GeForce RTX 2080 or a Radeon RX 5700 XT, the leap in performance will be significant. But if you're thinking about future-proofing your PC, consider aiming for the ideal specs. For those, you'll need something like the Intel i7 14700K, or the Ryzen 9 7900X. Pair that with a RTX 4080 or a Radeon RX 7900 XT plus 64 gigabytes of RAM. 
This setup is going to ensure that you can max out settings and still maintain smooth, immersive gameplay. And don't forget, the RTX 5000 series is expected to release in late 2024 or early 2025. If you're looking for the next leap in GPU power, it might be worth waiting for that release, as it'll bring in more performance gains to handle the high demands of MSFS 2024. And hey, if you're not sure if your system can handle MSFS 2024, here's a tip. Listen up, write this down. You can try it out through Xbox Game Pass before committing to buying the full edition. That way, you'll get to see how well it runs on your system before any major hardware upgrades. Now, what about VR performance in MSFS 2024? Well, VR has always been resource heavy in flight simulators. MSFS 2020 already required a high-end rig for smooth VR gameplay, and 2024 isn't gonna make it any easier. However, 2024 promises to deliver a better optimized VR experience with the new cloud-based streaming technology, the game will only load the assets you need in real time, potentially reducing the heavy load on your system. The improved dynamic weather and photometric lighting will look stunning in VR, but only if you have the horsepower to run it smoothly. So, should you upgrade? If you've already got a system that handled MSFS 2020 well, and you're planning to play on standard settings, you might be fine. But if you want to fully enjoy 2024's advanced features, especially in VR, upgrading sooner rather than later might be a good idea. On the flip side, if your PC is a few generations behind and barely met the minimum specs for 2020, now's the time to consider upgrading. Even a mid-range system today will give you a noticeable performance boost and you'll be future-proofed for the next generation of simulators. Whether you're looking to upgrade or just curious about what 2024 will require, we hope this helped you get a clear picture of what you need to soar in the skies. Don't forget to subscribe for more flight sim tips, news, and hardware recommendations. Up next, check out our full overview of the new career mode and missions in the MSS 2024. See you there.